NATO nuclear facilities, if permanently deployed in Poland, will be a military target for Russia, Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov told. He warned that joint nuclear missions of NATO countries close to the Russian border add to the threats to Russia's security. Let alone permanent deployment hotheads in Warsaw are speaking about, Ryabkov said. That is why all those politicians who are discussing such an option in and outside Poland should understand, any steps in this direction will not add to Poland's security and relevant facilities will inevitably be a target. And they will be in the fore in our military planning. According to the senior Russian diplomat, discussions around the deployment of NATO nuclear facilities in Poland are an unfolding story. He stressed that Moscow is keeping a close eye on how various bodies of Poland's executive branch are mulling this topic in their domestic discourse. In an interview with the Fact newspaper, Duda said that Poland is ready to deploy nuclear warheads under NATO's nuclear sharing program. According to the Polish president, he has discussed this matter with U.S. partners more than once. If there were a decision by our allies to deploy nuclear weapons within the nuclear sharing also on our territory in order to strengthen the security of NATO's eastern flank, we are ready, Duda said. He said Poland is aware of its obligations within the 32-member alliance that includes the United States. In Moscow, a Kremlin spokesperson said any deployment of U.S. nuclear weapons in Poland would be met with steps necessary for Russia's security. The military will, of course, analyze the situation if such plans are implemented, and in any case will do everything necessary, will take all the necessary retaliatory steps to guarantee our safety, Dmitry Peskov said. Soldiers of the invading Russian army have shot own fellow soldiers from another military unit in Okratino settlement near the city of Avdiivka in Ukraine's Donetsk region. The incident occurred as Russian invaders mistook their fellow soldiers for the soldiers of the Russian Volunteer Corps fighting within the Ukrainian army. The incident that took place on April 7 was publicized by relatives of the killed servicemen, after which the report was circulated on Telegram channels. Entering the position, Russian soldiers immediately opened fire without clarifying the identity of the soldiers standing in front of them. Then they took pictures of the killed soldiers, describing them as enemies. The review of the documents belonging to the soldiers revealed that those killed were soldiers of the Russian army. Сейчас я опять увидел сниму. Germany disrupts delivery of 400 MRAP armored vehicles to Ukraine. The German government has promised to provide up to 400 units of mine-resistant ambush-protected heavy-wheeled armored vehicles with enhanced mine protection to the Ukrainian military build reports. The contract for the supply of armored vehicles was signed by the Ukrainian authorities and the German defense company Flensburger Fazugbau GmbH with funding from the German budget totaling 315 million euros. The German Ministry of Defense says that all the armored vehicles are to be delivered this year. At the same time, the agency obtained a document from the German Ministry of Defense dated September last year, which states that M wraps for the armored forces of Ukraine should be delivered in batches of 20 from January to October 2024. However, deliveries have not yet begun. According to the German agency, the plan for 2024 was reduced first to 200 and then to 100 armoured vehicles and the start of deliveries was postponed from January to May to June. The reason is that Flensburger Fazugbau GmbH receives spare parts for MRAPs from the United States and only assembles them in Germany. The company faced export license restrictions from the United States to Germany and problems with mine protection certification. Since the first days of the Russian invasion, Germany has proved to be one of Ukraine's most reliable allies, providing it with comprehensive military, political and financial support. Berlin has sent Kiev an impressive arsenal of weapons, including various types of artillery pieces, leopard tanks of both old and new modifications, Iris T and Patriot air defense systems, ammunition, vehicles, drones and much more. Germany has recently added a new military aid package to this list, once again demonstrating its firm stance 
in supporting Ukraine in its fight against Russian aggression. There are rumors that the actual amount of military aid from Germany may be lower than officially declared. The German government stated that Ukraine had received 28 billion euros of military aid. However, the data shows a significantly lower amount according to BUILD. A part of the 6 billion euros, around 2.6 billion euros promised as military aid to Kyiv will go to other countries and for the rearmament of the Bundeswehr. The amount of 3.4 billion euros may be reimbursed to Germany from EU funds. Taking this data into account, it turns out that the actual promised military aid to the Ukrainian armed forces is only 21.7 billion euros.